so I'm on the dating apps. Who's on the dating apps? <laughs> wow, yeah, I swiped at you earlier. What's going on there? <laughs> right? Now, I like dating. I'm not going to give out about dating. Dating is easy. There is nothing difficult about turning up and eating a free meal. <laughs> Men hate that joke, right? But I can't date anybody my own age. There, there's none left. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't attractive, well-dressed, polite men my age, but they're all already married to other men. <laughs> okay. So it's either really, really young or really, really old, right? What age are you? How old are you? 25. 25. Oh, he's adorable. Like, you're gorgeous. But I, if, there, if I brought you home, there'd be a fine nine, line between a one-night stand and a sleepover. You know? <laughs> I wouldn't know whether to breastfeed you <laughs> or to breastfeed you. Let's be honest, breastfeeding <laughs> would be happening. <laughs> he just went like that, like, yeah. <laughs> um, you're gorgeous, sis. Are you guys together? <laughs> oh, shit. They're both very good looking because they're brother and sister. Is that what it is? Yeah. No, what is going on here? Pardon? We've been through this. We've been through. Oh shit, sorry, I wasn't listening. I was doing cocaine in the toilets. Okay. Right. Okay, so what's your name? Georgia. Georgia, that's a beautiful name, Georgia. English girls have lovely names, Georgia. My name is Aideen. Like, that's a horrible name. <laughs> Things are awful. Grania, Siobhan, Neil. They're painful to say. Aideen doesn't sound like a name. That sounds like medication for constipation. <laughs> My sister is called Aoife. Do we know the same? A O I F E. Well done. It's not really a name, though, is it? That's just a bad hand in Scrabble. <laughs> My other sister is called Chwevnachon. I'm not going to spell that because I'm not able to translate the Gaelic letter that represents phlegm. <laughs> okay, so listen to me now, Georgia, right? You're young, you're good looking. You're so good looking, you don't even know that alcohol costs money. <laughs> yet, yet. He does, definitely does, right? Get married before you're 30, okay? Will you do that for me? This isn't even comedy anywhere, this is just advice, okay? I know it doesn't sound very feminist, and obviously I am a feminist, you can see, because I have the fringe, and yes. <laughs> very enthusiastic feminist there. But you need a fringe as a feminist, don't you? Just so you can do this. Oh, the patriarchy. <laughs> Wins every argument, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but I'm, I'm exhausted. I see. I don't have the skills to be a feminist, right? My two sisters, right? Hum, 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 hum. <laughs> they have good jobs. They, they can be feminists. Like one of my sisters, Eva, she works with mental health. She works in the parliament. <laughs> Delusions of grandeur. She helps a lot. And my other sister, she's a doctor. There's no joke there, really. Um, I just wanted to show off. And she, she earns a lot more money than me, but in fairness, she had to work very hard in university. When I was studying my arts degree, I never had to stick my finger up an old man's arse. <laughs> Except for that one time where I need to get an A. <laughs> one man clapped there, that was quite sinister. <laughs> I recognise you now. <laughs> right. So get married, because it's just older, older, or younger, younger guys, right? The guy I'm seeing at the moment, Georgia, he's 55 years old. I thought you'd be a lot more shocked by that, but everyone looked at me and went, no, oh, that is good for you, fair play. 55. His name is... Harold. <laughs> exactly. Harold. I mean, there is no young Harold, right? No Harold is going to swivel in here on a scooter. <laughs> Unless it's a mobility scooter. Right? 
but he has that sexy quality that older men have, you know, a mortgage, a fully paid mortgage. <laughs> chat of line to me was, right? He comes over and he shows me photos of him when he was in his 20s. Like, right? older men always do this. I'm like, yeah, fabulous. It's such a pity we didn't meet when I was nine. <laughs> it's amazing the reactions, right? The, the different reactions my friends have. Because all my female friends genuinely concerned. They're like, oh my god, Aideen, you have to work on your daddy issues. Like, I don't have daddy issues. It's granddaddy issues at this stage. <laughs> and my male friends, completely different attitude. They're, they're just fucking delighted. They're high five and they're like, yay, right and for all is worth. As if like money is just falling out of my vagina. Because I know, I know, every single man here just thinks if I was a woman, I would be a prostitute. I would sleep my way to the top. You do think that, don't you? I have tried. I managed to sleep my way to the middle at best. Amazing, the lad, you look like lads. What's your name? Tom. Tom, you're a bit of a lad. Look at the body language there, the legs spread. I could see Tom eating a sausage roll and having a wank at the same time. <laughs> His brain just went, it's natural, it's natural. <laughs> Tom, yeah, so this is what the lads, do you have the, this banter with the lads? Right. The banter, right? Oh, the banter. Or as I call it, and women call it, the bullying, right? <laughs> it's horrible, right? They have, they're taking the mick out of me so much just because I'm with somebody who's retired. It's like, oh, Aideen, like, what kind of sex toys do you use with Harold in the bedroom? A vibrator? Or a defibrillator? <laughs> lads, 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 lads! <laughs> Oh yeah, Aideen, when you were having sex with Harold, I heard him moan and groan and oh and ah. And that was just on the stairs up to the way to the bedroom. <laughs> lads, 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 lads. Oh, high five, Tom, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, but in fairness, Aideen, he is fit, you know, for his age, like. He can touch his toes. <laughs> with his testicles. <laughs> Horrible. I got her out to throw them all off the yacht. Because <laughs> I did. I had a normal age boyfriend for a while. He was Spanish. His name was Juan. I know, it's funny, isn't it? Spanish people are here. Are there any Spanish people in? Yeah. What's your name? I don't know why you're not speaking. You're the one Spanish woman who went crazy there. Now, for the first time, a Spanish person being silent. What the fuck is going on? What's your name? Uh, Vicky. Uh, Vicky. I don't think she's spoken Spanish at all. <laughs> what part of Spain are you from, Vicky? Dublin? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, Juan, it's amazing. He was, to be honest, Juan was much better looking than me. But when you go for a foreign lad, you can get much better looking. Because, like, when an Irish guy or an English guy sees me, I'm Grant. Do you know? Like, I'm a shit Taylor Swift, at best. <laughs> but, let's say that a Spanish guy, or even a Brazilian guy, especially Brazilian, sees me. He doesn't see pale and pasty. He sees a bright, white, gleaming new visa. <laughs> and his passport. And the thing is, me, I, men love spontaneous women. Do you like spontaneous women, Tom? You don't, you can just like... <laughs> normative, I feel. Okay. Right. No, but men always say they like spontaneous women, right? And when I was with Juan, he was like, I love spontaneous women. Then after about three weeks, he was like, stop coming to my job, drunk. <laughs> and when we were first with him, he'd be like, Aideen, he's so sexy. You are so spontaneous. When we make love, you run up the stairs, make a lot of noise. You tear off your clothes, throw them everywhere, you don't give a shit. And then you jump in the bed with all your makeup on. 
The next day the sheets looked like a painting of Pablo Picasso. It's all so beautiful. After about three weeks it was more like, Aideen, you know what I find really sexy? When you go up the stairs, very quiet, make no noise. You take off your clothes and put them very neat in the corner. And you know what really turns me on? Facial wipes. I was sending him a lot, a lot of sexy photos at the end, you know, just to really hold on to him, because men really respect you when you do that. <laughs> and the last one I said, I was really proud of it, I was in my bra and knickers, you know, they make them in tweed. <laughs> I was delighted, I flicked it off to him, I was expecting something really good back, you know, like a dick pic. Look, I don't mind it out, solicited dick pic. But remember, if you're going to send me one, always put a 50p coin beside it, just for scale, okay? So the dick pic, I was expecting something exciting. And then, this guy goes 20p, like it's a dick auction. <laughs> and all he wrote back to me was, Aideen, you need to tidy your room. I thought I was being a dirty girl. I'm just a dirty fucking girl. <laughs> now, I'm at the end of my set, and because I talk a lot about sex, I often get really weird, creepy guys coming up to me after the show, okay, you know? <laughs> so just to save time and to let everybody know now, my number is 079. <laughs> 